my motivation for becoming a teacher. <laughs> the pandemic. This is truly an unprecedented situation. It's going to disappear. A statewide stay-at-home order. School closures. I am looking at a three-year-old who is now learning via a screen and I'm watching what's happening in my world. I began teaching her at home and realized how much I loved it. Do I continue this path that I've spent so much time with and I've worked so hard for, or do I do what I'm telling my daughter to do, which is take chances and dream big? Then somebody cued me in on AUSL. And I decided to go ahead and start really looking into it because the way that they talked about it seemed like it really, really aligned with the way that I was thinking. You absolutely can tell that they believe in the city. They believe in these schools. They believe in their students. And I love that. So it pretty much became an easy choice. And next thing I knew, I was born. So during the summer, we had a lot of time together as a group. Uh, we took four classes in five weeks, which is incredibly insane, but probably one of the most challenging, academically fun things I've done, if I can say that. Then everything changed, and we started actually teaching at our sites, and I realized how exhausting it is to be a teacher who teaches with attention and purpose get the talking stick, and then you will talk. I want everybody to raise their hand if they know why we're using the talking stick. We have to respect each other's what? Voices. So when somebody is talking, should the rest of us be talking? No. No. So the week is Monday through Thursday. I'm here the entire day. I'm working with uh, different students and uh, respected as one of the teachers in this building. An urban environment is obviously absolutely different from a suburban environment. I think that there's different stressors, there's different situations that would take place. And I think that as a teacher walking in here, um, you have to acknowledge that. You have to know that when your students are walking in, that there's more that they're dealing with than what's at the surface. Good morning, sweet girl, how are you? Good, did you want to get in front of Janaira? You don't, are you okay? Did you want to get in the back? What's wrong? Are you tired? Okay, did you not sleep? No? Okay. It's gonna be okay, you're totally fine. Janaira, come on. Janaira, what is going on? I don't want to call mom and I don't want to call dad because you had such good behavior this morning. Right? You don't, you didn't get a sticker? Well, that's okay. Do you know that we give stickers in the afternoon too? So can you show good behavior in the afternoon and then we'll make sure to get you a sticker? Yeah? Okay. I, man, sorry. I love, man, I'm so sorry. I love being a mom. When I walk into this classroom, I see her like in them and I see them in her. And oh, these kids, they matter. They deserve teachers who truly believe that they are capable of anything. And that regardless of your environment, regardless of your history, regardless of what the world tells you you are, there's absolutely no limit to what you can do. And as a black mom living in this world right now, I fully believe that black children matter. And to have this opportunity and to have AUSL have this program where those who are in it can see the possibility of a better world it's everything, it sincerely is. I'm so thankful for those who've not only 
cared enough about Chicago kids to put this together, but also trusted enough that there's enough good people in the world who will say, I'll sign up, I'll do it. Whatever comes with it, I'm ready. And I feel that if more people dedicated themselves to organizations like this, our world would look really different.